Hey, what's up YouTube? So I was telling you guys in the last video that we were expecting some snow. And look what we got. Just a little bit overnight. So I think that means it's time to put away the jet ski for the season. I'm gonna go winterize this puppy. So that includes draining the gas, fogging the engine, and taking out the battery as well. Okay, here's the first thing I'm gonna do. Turn the fuel valve to the off position and remove the hood. Then I'm gonna run the engine to try to burn up the fuel in the carburetor and pump some of the water out as well. I should probably roll this thing outside or else it's gonna smoke out the shop. So as the engine is running, I'm gonna spray this fogging oil into the intake through this hole here. And that should fog up the cylinders and prevent it from rusting. Man, this can sucks pretty bad. After that, I'm gonna pull off the spark plugs and fog the engine some more. Now I'm just gonna crank it over and spray some fogging oil into these spark plug holes. Well, that's it for fogging the engine. Next up, I'm gonna get rid of this water in the engine bay. Just a little bit left that the bilge won't get to. So I'm gonna siphon it out. While I have the siphon out, I'm gonna siphon this tank dry. The tank is finally done draining now. Time to pull up the battery and bring it inside for winter. I want to keep it out of the cold. All right, just a few things left. Next up, I'm gonna wipe her down and apply some wax. Gotta protect this beautiful paint over winter. And she is gonna look brand new all over again once I'm done waxing. This is what I call wax in the pole. Wait for it. Not what you thought, huh? Gotta wax the underside too. Can't forget about that. Like they always say, wax on, wax off. When black paint looks good, it looks really good. And I'd have to say, 
This looks pretty solid for a jet ski. Okay, one last thing. I've got some silicone spray here. I'm gonna use on some of the plastics and rubber just to protect it over winter. So I'm putting the hood back on for the final time, but I'm not gonna latch it. I want some airflow just in case there's some moisture in the engine bay. So that wraps up my process for winterization. Now I just gotta push it back in the corner and say goodbye to the old super jet for winter. Sad day. Bye bye. Gonna see you in like six months. Well guys, that's all I got for you today. It was a little bit shorter of a video. So you could apply the same process to your bike as well, or obviously if you have a jet ski too. With a bike, pretty much just run the carburetor dry, drain the tank, fog the cylinder, and if it has a battery, pull that out and store it somewhere warm for winter. All right, I'm getting cold. I'm gonna head inside, warm up with some hot chocolate. See you later guys, have a good one.